Hi everyone, I'm Chris Ritter, part of the ROV team. Uh, we're looking at the front here of D2, the Deep Discover ROV, and I'd like to cover the three basic systems here in the front. We have uh, electrical, which includes the lighting, and data, which includes sonar and video, and our hydraulic systems. Uh, so let's start with lighting. We have 16 lights here in the front. Uh, 12 of them are up top, and four of them are here on the bottom on these swing arms that can deploy. Uh, so we have plenty of lights, uh, all LED lights, to illuminate this whole area uh, where we usually work and film. Uh, moving to the video side, we have uh, five cameras here in the front. We have our pilot cam up here, our HD pan and tilt camera here, our main tilt camera, our main Zeus where we take our nice focuses, our nice beauty shots here in the front with the NOAA cover on it, and our two Manip cams, which are also HD uh, that cover, this one covers the whole port side of the vehicle for manipulation work, and the other one covers the starboard side. Um, so, also, in, also on the data side of things, we have the sonar here uh, in the middle, and that covers the whole 180 degrees, the front of the uh, D2. So, moving to hydraulics, uh, all of the orange lines here are hydraulic uh, lines, and those orange lines going to the top control the two swing arms at the top with two lights on them each. So every swing arm, we have four swing arms. There's two up top, two at the bottom here. And both of them, all four of them can be deployed and rotated to perfectly light anything we want in the front here. Um, also hydraulically actuated are these two manipulator arms. We have our Schilling Orion on the left on the port side and our Kraft uh, here on the starboard side. Um, the drawer and this, uh, these two wings down here are also hydraulically actuated. So the drawer comes out and these two wings move laterally uh, so that you can get access to our bio boxes, the two white boxes here, and our rock boxes or sampling boxes here in the front uh, on the wings. Uh, so if you'd like to move to the, to the other side here, we'll uh, cover some more systems on, on the port side. Yeah, so moving to the port side of the vehicle, uh, here we have our main electronics bottle, our, uh, or housing. Uh, this is the brains of D2, of the whole ROV. Um, from the electronics bottle here, a lot of our auxiliary systems are run through what we call a J box or junction box. Um, and you can see a lot of these yellow oil filled hoses running from the J box and from the electronics bottle. Uh, all of these are like I said, oil-filled hoses that are kept at pressure by these black cylinders here, compensators, um, and you'll find these uh, all around the vehicle as well. Uh, also, uh, on the bottom here, we have two of our motor control, two of our four motor controller bottles, uh, and these two motor controller bottles control um, our thrusters, which you can see four of here in this view: our forward lateral here, our aft lateral here our port axial and our port vertical. And all six of our thrusters help us uh, make very small movements and uh, let us finesse D2 through the water. Um, so, oh, also, sorry, I forgot to mention the uh, valve pack here. Uh, this is part of the hydraulic system. Uh, we'll cover that on the starboard side in more detail. That's a valve pack. You can see the swing arm over here uh, that we mentioned on the front side. And also on the port side here is a port rail cam, which gives a situational awareness on the port side here, and two more LED lights. So let's move to the aft part of the vehicle, and we'll talk about the transformer and some more systems there. All right, so moving to the aft side of D2 here, uh, we'll start at the top. The big white blocks on the top are uh, full of syntactic foam, and they help uh, add buoyancy to D2 uh, while it's underwater. Uh, moving down, we have our two thrusters in the back here, our port axial and our starboard axial, and they help the vehicle turn as well as move forward and aft. Uh, we have two cameras on the back here, uh, our pan and tilt and our mini cam, which help add situational awareness to the whole backside of D2 uh, 
uh, and help keep an eye on our lifeline, this neutral tether, this neutral yellow tether here. So through the tether comes our power, our 3,000 volts, uh, into this transformer, and the transformer distributes those 3,000 volts to all of our various systems across the vehicle. Uh, moving down, there's two green cylinders here. The top one is our CTD, conductivity, conductivity, temperature, and depth. And underneath that is our USBL, uh, which helps us track the vehicle uh, while it's in the water so we know exactly where it is. Um, we also have four lights on the back side of D2 here. And uh, you can see another comp a couple more compensators, which I talked about on the port side um, over on that side of the aft side of D2. So let's move to the starboard side, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about hydraulics. So this is our last side, the starboard side of D2. Uh, let's start by talking about the two junction boxes on this side. Uh, our tether uh, is, is fed through and terminated at this aft junction box here. That's why we call it the term J box. Uh, and this middle housing here is very similar to the port uh, J box. Um, and this starboard J box helps feed uh, the auxiliary systems across D2. Um, also on this side, uh, you'll see another green motor uh, back here, and that's our hydraulic motor, um, which is attached to a pump and the hydraulic reservoir, uh, which is full of hydraulic fluid that helps uh, power all of our hydraulic systems on the front, including the swing arms, our two manipulator arms, and uh, the drawer, as well as the two wings that move uh, in and out laterally. Uh, also on this side, you can see uh, two of the four motor controller bottles, uh, the black cylinders on the bottom here, um, as well as this starboard rail cam which helps provide situational awareness on the starboard side and uh, in the middle here is our uh, removable ladder which we put on to get to the lifting bail and the pull pin on the top of D2 but obviously we remove it for uh, dives so that covers all the basic systems on D2 thanks